Hey guys, welcome back. Just another short video. Uh, so it's the beginning of April, so that means it's still full winter in Idaho. <laughs> so I'm out doing one of my favorite things to do in the winter, which is uh, gathering dogbane. Now for those of you who don't know, dogbane is a, it's a plant that produces really nice fibers um, in the stem. And so I'll show you a stand of dogbane here real quick and then tell you how to get the fibers out of it. So what we've got going on here is this plant. Now the gray growth that you see here is a couple years old and the nice red growth back here is just from this past year. Now you can use both of these, but um, fibers from the two year old growth is what I have right here. And what's happened is a lot of the chaff has already kind of separated off from these fibers. And so they're basically ready to turn into rope. I have here on the floor a couple of uh, a couple of stalks from last year's growth, and uh, I can split those and and take the fibers off too. Those fibers are generally in a little bit better shape, um, but these gray fibers are just way easy to pull off. Like just go all the way down the stem. And like, I don't know if you can see real well, but here it is, <laughs> it just came right off. This stuff makes some of the strongest rope of any natural material that I know of, uh, with the exceptions probably being milkweed and nettle. Um, so I highly recommend it if you're looking to learn how to make cordage. If you've already learned, but you find that your ropes are uh, just kind of breaking in half, you maybe are using the wrong fiber. Um, and so yeah, get out there, find some dog bane. Uh, in the second part of this video, I'll be at home and without the wind, without the noise, without the snow, and I'll show you guys how to make cordage. So stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one.